Hello guys, um, now we're going to talk about the CSS3 cascade style sheet. So as I told you before, there's like a three way to write the CSS file. I mean like the CSS code. So either it's external style sheet or internal style sheet or inline. So what's different? Uh, external actually when you create a separate file dot CSS dot cascade style sheet dot CSS and you can call it whatever like any name uh, here uh, you know I call it uh, I name it style and you can name it a city you can name it anything um, and the internal actually you know we, we if you um, if you remember when we create our page and we put the color of the background so we put the color we put the style tag in a head so that was a type of internal style sheet. I will show you, I'll remind you about that when we open the HTML file. And inline, and also, um, I'm not sure actually if we did it or not, but yeah, I believe we did it with a table when we, you know, we changed the border. So this is also type of uh, inline uh, uh, cascade style sheet, inline CSS. And this is like, you know, how you uh, write the, the code here so let's say when we have the h1 oh we can put style equal colors blue or whatever we call it and we close the tag and so let's let's add this and see oh, you know i forget it let's open the h the, um, the, the the visual studio code and let's go back to our uh file let's open it and index three okay so let's see here we have this paragraph let's change the color of this paragraph okay so we open the file over here index three and then we go to this paragraph and new york yep and inside the 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 paragraph tag so we'll add this attribute you know, style equal and then we want to add the color uh, let's say color equal um, let's say red or orange or let's say orange red and we save it here let's refresh this file and here we go <clears throat> as you see now the the entire paragraph color change it so this is a type of the inline css okay when we write it like that style equal and then we select the attributes the color and then select the color and um, here um and also if you want to like the the head header you know the heading we can also put the style color or whatever like any and the internal actually when we as i told you let's say here we open a tag we call it style and the body and we select the background color and we change uh, we, we put this color so this is a type of the internal css the external css actually you know when you create a separate file as i told you but there is like a three steps over here first you create the CSS file and then you have to include this file in your HTML file so this is the way how you link it so you link the file like that link fill equal style sheet this is a type and the thing I mean like the type over here it's text slash CSS and href of course you know this is the uh, the, the 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 location okay so this is the link the location uh, of course because we we put everything in a one folder so that's why there is you know we just need to put the name of the the, the file and that's it so it's here like style.css so we put this tag in a head tag in html and the third step you know you go to whatever let's say we're gonna change the table or we're gonna like you know have a different style in the table or something so we go to the table and then we call the class from the 
CSS file. So we call the class. So inside the style.css, probably we have a class called tape one, or we call it whatever. You can have a class called table. So you can name the class whatever you want. And you call this class from this uh, file, which included with this link. So let's see how we do this. Let's copy this link. And we go to, do you remember the, the table? Uh, file that we created table file ah oh, yeah, it's right here okay so let's go to the head and we put this tag link rel and then see style.css so let's create style and I'll just create the file over here like um, and let's open it so I have here, um, like this is a class, we put dot and then the name of the class. So forget about this and let's uh, create an, a new class. So let's get dot uh, tape, and sorry, dot tab, and then we open the parentheses. And then let's see, we need to have the width equal um, 75% and a semicolon and then we go again let's say the text uh, aligns center so we put the text in the center and the padding uh, let's say it's like zero let's also select this maybe okay let's that's enough for now let's save this CSS file so now we create a class inside the uh, CSS file, which we call it style. Then we're going to open up again the HTML file. So we include the CSS file over here by this tab. Again, so this is the second step. And the third step, we go to the table here and we call this class. So we type class equal. And right this is the name of the class that we just created let's make sure that it's the same yeah it's it's, it's it's okay let's create table zero whatever you can call it whatever so here it's table zero and then we save this <coughs> and let's open the file and see if anything changed or it's still the same uh, here we go as you see now everything changed so now it's became 75 percent and everything you see all the text like uh, in, a, in a center of course uh, let's see we add the border here uh, or you know what let's add the border actually in line i want you to see the different let's say uh, a style equal because this is really important i want to explain something over here um border border style let's say let's select uh, where's the dot here yes let's see here dot and save and let's refresh here here we go as you see the dot so um as I told you, we have like three ways, but the internal and inline actually it's override the external. So the external you just put in external uh, CSS. So you just put every you know everything that's get, you're gonna apply in the whole you know pages that you have when you include the CSS file. But sometimes you need to change just something you know. Uh, part of this uh, page not the entire page or whatever like just one table let's say we have like three tables over here or we have like three paragraph or something so we just to change we need to change just the color of just one paragraph not the entire paragraphs uh, all over the pages so we need to use either the external or the inline so the inline and external actually it's override the external so let's say if we have uh, like um, here inline something and we have the external something different so 
whatever you have it in line that works first if you don't have any uh, you know style in the inline so it goes to the external i hope you guys understand that so uh try it and by tab yourself and just remember well uh, let me go over it again we have either external style sheet or internal style sheet or inline style sheet and uh, you know i showed you already how we put the inline and how we put the internal and how we use the external uh, i hope you guys enjoy it and thank you so much and see you in the next lecture goodbye